What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Boost to the Top video. Today I'm going to be trying out a team that was sent to me by uh, someone on Twitter. Uh, they're, they're a streamer, it's Sinato303, he's actually a pretty nice guy, I could be talking DM sometimes, he's a really chill dude, you should definitely check him out. Uh, but the team we're using today is going to be his Groudon and Charizard rental team. Basically it's Assault Vest Groudon with uh, Life Orb Solar Power Charizard. Honestly, it just looks really cool, and I had a lot of uh, I had a lot of success last time I used Groudon Charizard. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, wow, our ranking is so bad. I haven't played in like a week and a half. <laughs> oh my god! All right, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like and it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content, and answer my comment question of the day: What is your favorite weather to play in? any VGC season. Like, I'm a big fan of uh, playing sun. I'm not a big fan of rain. Uh, sand, I think, is kind of eh. Hail is just usually bad, but <laughs> hail players won't admit that. But yeah. Uh, also, check out the limited run merch. It's going to be available until the 27th of February, and it's a good way to support the channel with a nice little stylish design. So that'll be in the link in the description, as well as the code for the team. But let's go ahead and get into it. Hopefully we can get some wins today. I mean... I don't know, I haven't played too much this season. It's not that I dislike the season, it's just that I find the season kind of mid. You know, it's just it's just very mid in my opinion. Um, Dang, every time I see Thunders in this format, I want to say it's Life Orb, but it's like always, always Lumberry. And I don't feel comfortable going for a sleep on it with Venusaur on lead. Um, what I could try to do is set up a Trick Room here. I think a Trick Room is pretty reliable if I go P2 Incineroar. I can bring Groudon in the back, um, and Gastrodon looks pretty iffy, but it could also be very, very useful. I think I'll try it. It's it's going to be really risky, but it could also pay off really, really huge. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm playing this entirely wrong, but I feel like I don't want to roll the dice on Sleep Powder. I don't want to roll the dice on Lumberry on anything, really. I'd rather just go for the Trick Room play. Of course, if they lead off with Thunderous, I have already lost, but... <laughs> Actually, no, I can probably take a, a plus one with P2. Like, that shouldn't be too bad. I just have to fake out the partner next to it. Alright, let's see what they lead off with. Also, uh, what do you guys think about the rule set shifting back to Series 7 in May? I find that really crazy. I thought they would actually just shift back to... Um series uh I, I thought they would like in series nine just go to double restricted but let's see who's intimidate goes off first that'll let me know if i can uh fake out the incineroar or not as my intimidate does go first my play is always to fake out the incineroar to ensure my trick room goes off they shouldn't be able to knock out my p2 superpower would come close but they might just dynamax here and i'm assuming it wasn't a speed tie i don't have the pace for this team so i don't know the evs or anything but uh, Trick Room's looking really solid right now, especially with that special attack raise. Alright, so I'll go for the Trick Room here. If they go for a, a Max Knuckle, I should take it, but a Superpower is going to be pretty close. Let's go for the Fake Out in there, Incineroar, uh, since they could likely taunt me. If they have Taunt on Thunderous, that'd be a, <laughs> that'd be super annoying. I usually run Taunt on my Thunderous because I find it really hard to find another Taunt user beyond Incineroar. Uh, so if, if I have a Thunderous on my team, I usually go for Taunt, but I know a lot of people prefer to run like Protect and Double Stab plus Max Knuckles, since Max Knuckles is like essential on Thunderous. Alright, let's see. Am I going to get super powered? Am I about to lose? There it is. Okay, can I eat? Oh, it was onto my Incineroar. Okay, that's fine. That's actually, that's actually baller, to be honest. I'm going to say it. That's, that's pretty baller for me. Get my Trick Room off. Now, unfortunately, this is Assault Vest Groudon, so no Swords Dance for me, and a Parting Shot is pretty likely. I think what I want to do is... I can attempt to double into this uh, Thunderous, and I think a Scald plus... Do you think a Scald plus a plus one Tri Attack will do it? I don't think they'll Dynamax here, just because it isn't like the best situation for them. And I didn't want to bring in the Groudon yet, because I don't want to have to deal with Incineroar. I'm going to try it. I think Tri-Attack, as long as they don't Dynamax, I think Tri-Attack plus Scald will do it at plus one. 
like I said, I have no idea what this uh, Porygon 2 ZV spread is, so I'm just kind of guessing. As they withdraw the Thunderous, I'm going to get a lot of damage on whatever comes in. As it is their Groudon, they're not going to appreciate this at all. Like, this is going to be really, really tough for them. Go for my Scald. They take it pretty well. Are they going to get burned, though? Nope. Go for my Tri-Attack. A nice, solid chunk of damage. And they get burned from that. Okay, that was pretty sick. There's the Parting Shot, probably in my P2. Yep. That's fine. Um, as long as the Thunders isn't at plus one, I feel a lot more comfortable with this match. And now I can go for, like, Yawns and stuff, so it's all good. It's all good, man. Alright, there's the Venusaur. Um, you know, I'm not terribly concerned about Venusaur, especially with the Burn Grout on. I might just double into it. I could go for an Eerie Impulse. And, uh, I don't have Protect. I feel like Eerie Impulse wouldn't be a bad idea, especially considering I have a Groudon in the back. I'm going to Eerie Impulse here. Um, and I'm also going to Scald the Groudon, I think. Because they should go down. And the reason I'm Eerie Impulsing is just because it kind of forces the Venusaur to... Uh, it won't be able to one-shot my Groudon, pretty much. Like, it'll get him to minus two, and then the Leaf Storm... While I don't expect my Gastrodon to survive it, of course, uh, it'll put them in a position where they're going to just end up in, like, a spot where they have to switch out if they want to knock out my Groudon. Alright. And there's the Sleep Powder. That's fine. I think my play here is to get Groudon in for P2, since Incinero is likely going to come in here. Yeah. So I'll get Groudon in for P2, and I think I'm going to have to sack this uh, Gastrodon. And there's a possibility I get plus one on P2 again, so that might be worth it. Um, and I would say my best play is probably just to try to yawn this Venusaur. Or even the, the Incinero wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, we'll, we'll go Yawn on Venusaur. It actually, like, de-incentivizes them switching out Incineroar the next turn. If they allow me to do it, they might just fake out into this Gastrodon, which would honestly make the most sense. As they withdraw, I'm going to get a Yawn on that Thunderous. They go for the fake out. That's fine. Okay. So... Um, I can once again yawn the Thunderous, assuming they parting shot my Groudon here. I'll get in the P2 and try to yawn the Thunderous. I have to be really, really careful that Venusaur, though. It can honestly mess me up. But I think if I Dynamax, I should be able to knock it out with Groudon. See, so withdraw the Incineroar, that's fine, as long as I yawn this Thunderous. And I still have an opportunity to Eerie Impulse the Venusaur, which if I, if I do it on the turn that they Dynamax, that'd be amazing. I get an attack race. That's not great. As they Dynamax the Thunderous, I am pretty cool with that. <laughs> I'm pretty cool with that, actually. Uh, as long as this Yawn goes off, this will be worth it. Also, apologies if you can hear a rat chewing a log in the background. I, I gave him a nice little, like edible log that they can hide inside and they're they're really enjoying it they're having a great time eating it all right i get that yawn off hopefully they're not lumberry that'd be annoying come on baby life orb <laughs> show me the life orb baby come on oh no i think they might be lum they might be lum Oh, I'm tempted to double yawn because of that. I am very tempted to double yawn. Let me go for an Eerie Impulse on the Venusaur. And, uh... Is it is it worth it to double yawn? Is, it, is that at all my play? I'm just gonna go for a Scald on the, on the Thunderous. Because with any luck, I'll get a burn here. 
All right, yeah, they land the other sleep powder. I was going to say, with any luck, I'll get a burn here. And uh, then at the end of the turn, the Lumberry will act won't activate on the Yawn. Because I believe a burn doesn't undo the drowsiness. It just, like, makes it so they can't get the, the sleep. Come on, baby, go to sleep and stay asleep, please. Go to sleep and stay asleep. That's all I want right now. Sunlight's gone. Not that it matters. Stay asleep. Okay, okay, this is doable. Uh, let me Eerie Impulse you. And... I'm also tempted to yawn it, to be honest. Maybe I could Earth Power. I think my play is to double into this Venusaur. Um, because it becomes a lot easier to deal with Thunderous once it's not Dynamax, because Groudon's so absurdly bulky. Go for a Sludge Bomb. Can I survive? Come on, baby, wake up. <sighs> Dang it. Wake up. Grab brush, put a little makeup. Hide the skirts, fade away the shakeup. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Um, I am losing precious turns I could be using to get in Groudon, but I really don't want to. Because the Leaf Storm is so easy for them. They could also just put me to sleep. I'll just Trick Room here. That's my best play. And maybe I can live. Also yawn into that Venusaur to force it out. Come on, baby. They go for the Leaf Storm. Okay, that's fine. He's at minus two. Wake up. <sighs> Dang it. Okay. How do I do this? I, I have to dodge, unfortunately. This is really annoying. Um, I don't want to Dynamax yet. <clears throat> I don't want to Dynamax yet. Because it just doesn't seem worth it. I should be able to live a, a Leaf Storm or whatever. What I'll do here is... Hmm. I think what I can do is... Go for a Fire Punch on you. Yeah. I could even Rock Slide, actually. I'll Rock Slide. <clears throat> the reason I'm going to Rock Slide is because it catches everything. And I'll actually just go for a Yawn on the Venusaur. Because they withdraw the Venusaur. I could have Dynamax, dang it. So, it's becoming increasingly obvious that my play is going to be to try to get that Venusaur as soon as possible. Thunder stays asleep. Can I yawn Incineroar? Alright, I connect on both. This should do a solid amount of damage. Gastron wakes up to yawn. Okay, here's my play. I need as many special defense boosts as possible, so I'm just going to max Quake into the Incineroar now. Um, and... I can attempt to... I mean, the, the Thunder should wake up this turn, right? So I could try to yawn it again. I'm going to try that. They're probably going to fake out the, um, the Gastron, if anything, though. This might be a one-battle video, dude. <laughs> this is a long game. All right. Thunderous woke up. Thunderous went for fly. I think that's fine. I think so. As long as I get the KO on this Incineroar. Nice. Okay. Nice little special defense boost there. Um, that also makes it so my play next turn actually isn't to go for the um, Max Flare into the into the Venusaur. Since it's likely... It's likely just going to go for a Sleep Powder into me and waste my Dynamax. If I can dodge a Sleep Powder, that'd be amazing. But I think what I have to do is just get as many special defense boosts as I can and put it to sleep and hope I can win. Because uh, Fly, it's not going to be able to do much to grout on. Yeah, I need I need special defense boost. We'll go for the max quake. And we'll also yawn 
into the Venusaur to minimize the damage it can do on the upcoming turns. Let's see if they flew into the... Oh, wait, what? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Maybe they were Focus Ash and they were just like, okay, I can put him to sleep next turn anyways. That might make more sense. They're just doubling into this Gastrodon. Alright. Okay. <laughs> now, obviously they don't want to go for a superpower into me. It just wouldn't make sense. They're going to continuously fly and probably Leaf Storm this next turn. I'm assuming they're Focus Sash, by the way. That's the assumption I've been going off this whole game. I just have to dodge one, and I think I win. Uh, now I can go for the Max Steel Spike. We dodge. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Thunderous goes for Fly. I get my Max Steel Spike off. That will KO. Uh, and Thunder... Wow, that was a strange angle to see that from. Go for my max steel spike. That'll give me the defense boost I need to win, and now I can just click. Uh, I can just click fire punch into that thing, and it'll probably die. Since fly won't be doing much. I don't think I agree with their play of doubling into the gastron. I think they were expecting me to go for a max guard, and that's why. But I haven't revealed assault vest or anything, so that makes sense. Uh, are they at plus two or plus one? They're at plus two. I think Fire Punch might do it. I'd rather just go for two Fire Punches if I'm going to miss a Rock Slide anyways, you know? How much is this going to do? Okay, yeah, I'm fine. As long as they don't crit. Hey, we just KO. Awesome. So nice, nice first game. It was a little bit shaky towards the end. It was a little bit shaky, but we managed to pull it. We managed to pull it off. So we're good. I had to double check I was recording. I'm always nervous that like I'll be midway through a video and not actually be recording. Let's do one more. I think I've only got time for one more. We're already like 17 minutes into this video and we only did one battle. <laughs> we only did one battle. Okay, so rank 8,000. Hopefully, I, I, I don't know, like the whole series changing back without restricted's kind of killed my competitive drive for the season. Because I'm like, does it even matter? I know for a fact I'm bringing Tapu Bula to Players Cup 3, though. <laughs> I think that's going to be my thing. Uh, as we end up facing Lapdog plus Umbreon. And Umbreon's a really interesting Pokemon in this format. Uh, just because it's, like... It, it's weird. Umbreon, like... It, it's able to wall everything and go for, like, Snarls and Foul Plays. And it's just a generally good Pokemon. It's almost like a more offensive or supportish Porygon. I, imagine, like, Porygon 2, but, like... Support and not Trick Room Offense, if that makes sense. I know I just contradicted myself, but that was because I misspoke. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm not going to make the same mistake game like in, the, in this game. I'm not going to lead off Incineroar. I'm going to bring it in the back. Um, I feel relatively comfortable going Venusaur Groudon here. And Charizard looks nearly essential to winning this match. Yeah, Charizard looks almost essential to winning this match. And I think my last Pokemon now is going to have to be that Incineroar, since Incineroar is very, very nice for beating the... Um, for beating the Zacian. Alright, let's see what they lead off with. So they go Thunderous Landers. Ah, my computer's reminded me. Marcos, you have a lecture later on today. I always record these videos like right before my lecture. And I feel relatively comfortable going for the Sleep Powder. Granted, I'm as lucky as most <laughs> as most Sun players and land it. Um, if I sleep this, if if I if I sleep this um, what's it called? This Thunderous will feel pretty good. And I actually won't switch out here. I don't see much of a purpose in switching out. I think what I'll just do is just go for a um. Kind of want to just go for the Rock Slide for damage. I could Fire Punch, but, you know, it's it just doesn't seem worth it. Alright, there's the Amoongus. Makes sense, makes sense. So they end up Dynamaxing their Landers here. Interesting play. I'm assuming they're just going to go for a Max Fly into my... Into my, um... Venusaur, but... I think I'll be fine. 
I don't believe plus one Landorus actually outspeeds plus two Venusaur. Because what's Landorus? Landorus is like 93. Let me do some math. Opening up Showdown for my weekly math session. Because I do have an opportunity to try this again. Let me see. We just see 2021. We have Venusaur. I believe I'm, I'm, I don't know, 132 times 2. Let me look at Landorus, probably Jolly Landorus. Doing math. 157 times 1.5. That is 235.5, which is 236, which is significantly lower than Venusaur's plus two speed. So I'll go for the Sleep Powder into this Landorus. And... I think I feel comfortable just letting Incineroar go to sleep here. As long as I connect this, I should be in a decent position. Unless they, like, protect the Lando and, uh target into my Venusaur with the Sludge Bomb or something. That'd be unfortunate. Hey, we connect. That's great. Watch it be Lumberry Landers. <laughs> I would lose my mind. Are you... What the... Uh, de no! <laughs> no! <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? I'm looking at how common is this? How common am I? Am I stupid? How common is Lumberry Landorus? Let me look at Landorus. Let me. I'm looking at Landorus right now. Landorus Therian, number four in usage. Lumberry, 17%. Okay, that is a thing. I just got unlucky there. <laughs> that is in fact a thing, and I'm very upset about that. I am quite upset about that. <laughs> okay. Um, they usually, usually have a rock move, especially. If you're, you know, just fast Lando. So I'm assuming their last move is Rock Slide. I do not want to go into uh, Charizard for that reason. However, Dynamax Charizard sounds really nice just in general. Uh, what I can try to do here is go for a Max Flare onto the Amoongus. Um, because I believe, yeah, they don't have an Incineroar. Nothing actually resists Max Flare on their team. So I'll do that. Um, and I can also attempt to Flare Blitz whatever comes in, even though Incineroar is not going to wake up. <laughs> Lumberry Landorus just nanade me, dude. I'm so used to seeing Lumberry Thunderous or something. Okay, so at the very least, this is a minus one Landorus. And Thunderous isn't nearly as threatening to a Dynamax um, Groudon. So. I think we'll be fine as long as this isn't Focus Sash and Moongus, which they usually are in restricted formats, which is why I doubled in. Because that was really my only play there. Let's go for the Max Quake, makes sense. Probably into Incin. Oh no, it's into Groudon, which I don't really agree with that play. I know you want damage, but like, I don't know. Just feel like you'd want to get rid of Incinera first. Come on, baby. Don't be Focus Sash. Okay, oh wait, it took damage, I'm stupid. I'm stupid, I forgot that I rock slided it. Like, the moment I clicked rock slide and saw the Amoongus camp come in, I, I just like turned to my computer and stopped paying attention. I was like, yeah, yeah, he max air stream, because I wanted to do the math. So I guess there was really nothing to fear there. I guess a protect would have been kind of annoying, but I actually, I, I see this going a little bit better for me now. Um, Yes, Zacian is pretty scary. But Landorus is no longer Dynamax, so it would have to go for, like, a Rock Slide or something. I think... I think my play here is just to... I think I just Quake, right? I just Quake the Zacian. And uh, I also attempt a Flare Blitz, because... Hmm. I'm just going to double the Zacian, because I don't want him to substitute on me. If they substitute on me, that'd be so crappy. I can't protect anyways, and I don't want to bring in Charizard on what's probably a Rock Slide, since they don't want to Earthquake their own Zacian. They can also fly, though. Yep. Bringing into Charizard there would have been a huge mistake. 
Uh, hopefully I can take this uh, plus one as they end up going for a substitute. So if Incinera wakes up here, <clears throat> if Incinera wakes up here, I'm in a good spot. Go for my max quake. <clears throat> Apologies, my throat's super dry this morning. Come on, Incin, you just gotta wake up. You just gotta wake up and we win. Come on, baby. Ah, dang it. Okay. Um, I believe my play stays the exact same. I believe I make the exact same play. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna go for it again. They might have Protect, but I don't know if they'll go for it here. Flare Blitz again. Uh, as long as my Incinera doesn't get Rock Slide flinched, I think I'm okay. As they Sacred Sword, okay. So they're giving me their Zacian, which... I, I really don't agree with. <laughs> I think they should have 100% substituted again. Alright. <clears throat> Dang, why is my throat so freaking dry right now? I think it's just commentary makes my throat dry. And I didn't bring a glass of water. I usually bring a glass of water or something. Maybe like a Diet Coke or something man like but i just don't have that at my desk today so you guys are gonna have to deal with my my stinky throat in comes the thunderous um i mean i'm not really scared of landers anymore i think my play is always going to be to protect the protect the land not the lando protect the uh, charizard here and go for a rock sled and granted i can connect that it should be fine. Since they're likely just going to rock slide themselves. Let's see if they doubled into the, uh, <laughs> into the Groudon. So they go for the rock slide. And we actually see, is that, is that Choice Scarf Lando? That's Choice Scarf Lando. Okay. You go for the fly as well. Unless it's just like a really slow Thunderous. Like, that's Choice Scarf Lando. Which means I, I can just literally target Thunderous for the rest of this match. Alright. Um, yeah, we're kind of out of options here. Go for another Rock Slide. And I can, I can attempt to double protect. But it doesn't really do anything besides delay the inevitable. So I'm going to Heat Wave here. I believe I lose my Charizard there. I don't. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was going to say, it's at minus one. I just have to not flinch now. Hopefully that's into Groudon. Awesome. Come on, baby. No flinches. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Can I knock out this Thunderous? Can I Can I please? All right. I'm going to need you to dodge. I'm going to need you to dodge one more Charizard. If you can dodge this, we win. Heat Wave. Just dodge a Rock Slide and we win. I hope. I mean, Land Landorus also has to, like, not flinch my Groudon, but you get the point. Just dodge. Come on, it's a Rock Slide. They always miss the most important thing, at least when I click it. At least when I click it, I miss the most important thing. So hopefully they can, too. Nope, they uh, they land. And uh, it looks like I'm in range of a Fly, but Fly can also miss. Fly can also miss. You go for the Fly. And I flinch. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, um... I think technically my play here would be to Fire Punch the Thunderous since it should KO. And then I can hopefully KO the Landorus. La oh, he's not Choice Scarf? Am I just like... Oh, wait, why am I an idiot? Guys, why am I an idiot? Why am I an idiot who doesn't remember the, uh, the speed tiers? Who doesn't remember the max flies? <laughs> Why am I an idiot who doesn't remember Max Fly, dude? Oh my, I was so convinced. I was so convinced right there. Because I'm dumb. But, yeah, I mean, that... I feel like I had to treat it as though it was Choice Scarf anyways. Just because, you know. It, it, I had to treat it as though it was Choice Scarf anyway, so it's not like it changed how I played too much. Anyways, if you guys want to uh, do me a favor, leave a like if you enjoyed this video at any point in time. Subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, because uh, I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.